This is The Chris Abraham Show. Hey there, this is Chris Abraham, Season 5, Episode 25. Um, today I am at Penrose Square Park again, and I'm near the uh, fountains where the little kids play and where the little moms play, and it's going to be lots of fun for the kids. And uh, I just uh, saw the... Uh, the fountain guy, the fountain guy's here to make sure that the fountain is all good, so he just did his morning fountain guy ritual, and uh, I am here only to yammer on about social media, but social media in terms of Twitter and the associated competitors and competition and issues, so it probably won't be a very long one. Sorry about that. I was checking to see if it was actually recording. Anyway, so this morning, 12 hours after he sent it, my business partner, my former business partner, Dan, uh, sent me a, sent me his link to his thread, which is meta for Twitter. So in the past, in the beginning, there was Twitter, and it was good. It took me years to figure out uh, Twitter. It took me a while to make friends there, but now I've got like 42.7 thousand unengaged, real but unengaged uh, followers. I guarantee you, 99% of whom are probably dead, retired, or have left Twitter, but not left Twitter enough to remove their account, but just sort of abandoned the platform. Moved on in their lives. So that's, while my percentage of spam accounts or bought, bought accounts are extremely low, the uh, number of people who follow me are not seeing my work. And I like to blame that on things like shadow banning or... Um, banning, banning, or shadow, shadow, or moon, shadow, moon, shadow. So, back in 2017, everybody was talking about this thing called Mastodon. And, like, I popped over to masto.social or mastodon.social, created me an account, and then forgot about it. Because only nerds were really doing it. And it was, like, an association of extreme leftists and extreme rightists. People I probably would have met in Usenet and on BBS and message boards. Um, and then No Agenda, the podcast I've been listening to every... It's my longest relationship. I've been listening to No Agenda since... Uh, since 2008, 2008, 2007, 2008, um, I caught only the tail end of, uh, of the um, daily source code, but I caught the beginning of uh, No Agenda Show. And a few years after 2017, No Agenda Show started a instance, which is to say on the platform Mastodon, it is an open source project, so anybody can install a Mastodon server. So, No Agenda Social installed No Agenda, sorry, No Agenda, in, actually, Adam Curry himself installed No Agenda Social.com, and I got the name at Chris. Now, 
few years later, when Elon Musk bought Twitter and started to act in the way that I love but everybody else hated, everybody said that they were going to literally delete their Twitter, which was stupid to me. I've told you this before. It's stupid because if you delete your Twitter and not just abandon it, all that link juice, if you will, all that, all that 500 years of putting in your tagline, putting it in your, in your links, adding it to your uh, journalistic properties, adding it to all your work and including it in your bio for, you know, 15 years, um, is going to very quickly result in, in a dead link, a dead end, a dead link, right? So I think that was stupid, but everybody gets so riled up with stuff. So people were literally taking uh, zero-sum stands and deleting their accounts, which were being taken up immediately by spammers, right? When you let your domain go, uh, it immediately gets bought by spammers who uh, put it to to bad use, right? When people search for someone to talk to who they've seen in a movie or on television, up till now, they go to Twitter. So, so after a few years on No Agenda Social, I started to believe, and, and it's true, the um, uh, No Agenda Social made so many enemies through its uh, extreme free speechism that uh, every instance in the federated universes, it's like um, Instagram, sorry, M Macedon, each Macedon instance is very literally, figuratively, very figuratively like a United States state. Each state in, in a perfect world can do whatever it wants. It's encouraged to federate with other states, but if something really bad happens, it can throw up the wall to that state. Um, or you can even secede from the Union, and you can wall up your state completely and turn your federated Mastodon open source Twitter-like platform into, a, into an autonomous state like North Korea or Azerbaijan or someplace like that. You can also become like Hungary. You can become like Hungary and have your own completely unique way of looking at the world, whether it's regressive or traditional or, or Judeo-Christian or anti-modern. You can say what you like, but those people definitely have an idea of who they are. Poland as well, uh, definitely Russia. Each place, when it does not behave in a manner that is appropriate or even acceptable, there will be closed borders, there will be sanctions, there will be uh, secondary effects. There is a, um, a website where you can see if your instance is being blocked and why. And so I noticed that there were hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of instances that were blocked with No Agenda Social. So I heard Adam Curry, I heard Adam Curry talking about a website called masto.host. And I decided that I would create my own instance. At first I created an instance called Giravik.su and I'm like, yeah. I'll make it anonymous, like, I'll just be a Chris there, and I'll make it look like it's about kettlebell swinging. But then I realized I wasn't doing a lot of kettlebell swinging, and that I'm egotistical enough to want it to be me. So I took my domain name that I had gotten, abraham.su, and I started an instance on it. So if you go to abraham.su, you'll see that the only user on the site is chris at abraham.su. Now, I'm completely um, un... Uh, there's, I am relatively unblocked. The fact that I communicate a lot with No Agenda Social means that um, you can generally see 
based on who you trade with, whether or not you might fit into the alliance. So I am considered loosely associated or trading a, par a partner with an axis of evil. Um, one might say that in this case, um, I'm the Russia of bricks because of my .su. That said, I still have a lot of access to the Fediverse. So I'm having quite a lot of fun with that. One way I keep myself out of trouble is I have everything hardwired so that after two weeks, every one of my toots, which is Mastodon for tweet, every one of my toots, uh, or, and or the media associated and or the graphics and or the links and or the boosts and everything else are deleted after two weeks. And it's a running two weeks and it, you know, so I only at any point have... 200 posts up at any one time. Even though I tweet a lot, I, I toot a lot, I only toot about 200 toots, 200 to 300 toots a month. So they all go away after, is it one week or is it two weeks? It might even be one week. I might do two to 300 toots a week. So, and then came this thing called Blue Sky, and I think it sucks, so I barely go there except to cross-post stuff. And for the last month, I've forgotten that it even exists until someone reminded me. And then this morning, uh, Zuckerberg launched, or last night, Zuckerberg launched a Fediverse Mastodon Federation-compatible platform called Threads, or Thread. And since it's related and integrated with uh, Instagram and Facebook, and since I've been on those two things since 2006, I was able to keep my threads or thread dot whatever at Chris Abraham for that. So I feel like everybody who's sort of invested their time and energy getting to know the Fediverse probably will go on to threads instead. Um, people are realizing that the uh, the fact that the Mastodon universe is federated and that you need to have an entire long URL is antithetical to being able to be found in one place like on YouTube on Rumble, find me on Twitter, find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook, find me on TikTok, etc. Now, it'll be interesting, you know. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep my at Chris Abraham at Threads or Thread or whatever dot com, and I'm going to also keep my personal instance on the Fediverse, and I have enough love connection on the Fediverse with Abraham.su that I'm going to stop, like, dropping, link bombing and so forth, that place, and I'm just going to try to be a good denizen there, and, you know, I'll fuck around on Twitter and on threads, and um, I'll really fuck around on Twitter because, like, doesn't seem like anybody even really uses it except for crazy people, and I love to interact with crazy people. And besides, I've really fallen in love with TikTok, so it's hard to balance myself with all these things. But anyway, I'm pretty excited about threads. I mean, all the, all the deep state, all the corporate media, all the mainstream media, all the fake news, everybody is over there. And they're, they're all the actors. Like, if you really want to go and give love to all of your brands and friends in a place where you're not competing with everybody else, uh, join Thread. It'll be the next six months to a year to two years, there will be an amazing opportunity to engage with uh, the fandom that uh, up till now you've had to wait until you've gone to a con or an airport and if you want to interact with brands, they're going to be all wiggly to develop um, 
of following. So if I were to re recommend anything in the world, I would recommend that you become an early adopter on Thread and spend all your time there building. It's an opportunity to build from the bottom up uh, with uh, Zuckerberg Munt, with Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg. Ooh, that's what we should call threads, Zuckerberg. That is so funny. I have to, I really, really want to go and tweet that and thread that and whatever. But um, come hit me up uh, at Chris Abraham at thread.com or at Chris Abraham on Instagram, at Chris Abraham on Facebook, at Chris Abraham on Twitter. I'm, uh, uh, if you go to abraham.su, you can't join because I'm the only one there. But if you want to federate with me, I'm at Chris at abraham.su. Um, I don't know what I am on Blue Sky. Uh, does anybody use that? So terrible. It's like blsk dot io or some dot app. Nobody's going to remember that. Yikes. Terrible. Worst URL ever. Um, and uh, nothing else. Where do you think it's going to go? Are you on Mastodon? Uh, do you have your own instance? Uh, are you a user? I need to set up the new thing um, that all the really cool kids are doing. The uh, blockchain-based, I think, like social network. That's sort of quasi like a... Uh, PGP key or hash or thumbprint or something. I really need to check that out. But anyway, only enough hours in the day. I really wish this was a good episode. This is a terrible episode. I'd be very disappointed in me. But um, you let me know. Please join me on uh, on Thread or Threads. Because, you know, nobody... I have like 11, 12, 1,300, 1,500 followers. Now, just because of legacy latency and, and, you know, following everybody back and this sort of thing. But I haven't had my first at reply or anything like that. The good news about Thread is that it allows you to retweet and retweet with quote and heart. But what it doesn't have, I think someone mentioned... It doesn't have DMs at all, which I think is smart, because fuck DMs. Um, all right, I might do another podcast later today on a better on a better uh, issue, but until then, I'll talk to you soon. Lots of love. Bye-bye. <laughs>